Well, hello there you beautiful legends and welcome back to another video. On today's episode we're going out exploring again on the shop. It's a place I haven't been to in a very long time. So it's my first video actually. So yeah, it's a little bit of a revisit, see what we can find using the things that I've learned over the course of near enough the last year doing this. Hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Love you all. Don't forget, smash that like button, hit subscribe, turn on that notification bell to get all the future content from myself. Plenty more videos up and coming, I can guarantee you that. I know I've been a little bit silent recently on some of the longer videos, but yeah, lots more up and coming, so stay tuned. All right there, folks. Just while I flip this rock, see what there was. Got a few little goodies under here today. This here, if I can get it off very gently. This one is called a Cushion Star or Asterina. So normally you find them in green or orange, but they can be all sorts of different colors. Pop you back on if it'll stay. We've got here. This here is the uh, green sea urchin, nice and spiky. Here we've got brittle stars. As the name suggests, they're very, very brittle. There's loads of them under this rock. You've got one here, 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 here. Another one there, another one up there. Yeah, quite a few. Find a handle, you just have to be careful when you are handling them. And then, trying to escape all the way down here. If I can get it off the rock nice and carefully. No, he doesn't want to. I'll show you this one. There's a couple of smaller ones. Just wanted a bigger one. That one there. And just there, moving these. And some very, very teeny tiny ones just there. A little incy wincy one. I called broad clawed porcelain crabs. Yeah. Love the way these guys move. Very sort of alien-esque all right get the rock put back down yeah there were a couple of furrow crabs under there as well but we'll carefully get the rock put back as it's always a good idea to do so whenever you're flipping things over yeah let's give you one last show that lovely sea urchin there awesome colorations i don't think the uh action cam will pick it up properly but the spikes on them are green and they have like purple tips on the head. That looks really awesome. Yeah, awesome stuff. Down there, I don't think it's gonna be big enough to keep. No, in fact, I'm pretty sure it isn't, but I will bring it out and give you a show anyway. Yeah, we've been uh, exploring around now for a good couple of hours. And this is the first crab, other than a few small furrow crabs, we've actually come across. Yeah. I think this one's going to be female, and it is, and she's soft. Just what I thought. Yeah. It's not massively soft, but she is still a bit squishy and translucent. Yeah, she would have been too small to keep anyway. But yeah. Very sharp claws, Missy, or your legs are. I'm trying to grip onto me with her back legs are. And they are very, very sharp indeed. Let's see if I can uh, spin around a sec without getting nipped and give you guys a bit of a better show. I've got to be careful because she is soft. I don't want to snap her legs off. <laughs> Maneuver. Yep, I know, you're upside down and you're not liking it, are you? Alright, give me one sec there, folks. Let's see if I can hold her under here. The problem is, because she's soft, normally with a crab this size, I would hold it under here where my fingers are, but there we go. I don't want to snap her legs off if you hold it too hard. All right there, folks, I'm back out at the lobster holes and I've just seen a lobster poke out and then turn around and go back in. So I'll see if, there it is. Well, 
one nice lobster. <laughs> See if I can get into some shallower water. Don't think that one's going to be big enough to keep. But yeah. See if we can maneuver you up here, mister. Ooh. They're pretty quick and feisty. There we go. Ah, oh, mister. Went down too deep. Right, back up you go. Oh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lobster. Normally it's not quite as deep here. I was trying not to get my sleeve soaking wet. Let's see if we can't get you over here. There we go. All right, as you can see, they can reach pretty far. Pretty far indeed. What a lovely, lovely lobster. This is becoming an absolute amazing spot, unfortunately. And which one are you? You, another female. So this Larry is female. What a beautiful, beautiful lady. Yeah. I don't think she's got any V notches on her tail fan, but she's a bit too small. Let's see. Without getting my uh Oh I don't know actually. Oh, and actually she's just probably just out. Alright there guys, got some pictures of her. She isn't best pleased, so we'll get her put back, but yeah. Just love the colorations on them. They're such awesome, awesome creatures. She definitely ain't a happy bunny, but lucky you, little missy, you are going back. Put you back in your home. Say goodbye. But yeah, we definitely are getting some bigger lobsters out of this hole out here. Haven't had a keeper yet, but we're going in the right direction. So she wouldn't be far off, quite literally. She's about 85-ish. So yeah, not too far to go, and she'll be keepable. But yeah, nice to see that we've got some more lobsters for the future anyway. So there you go, madam. Don't nip me, go back into your house. And she'll go back in, and there she goes. Happy days. Absolutely fantastic stuff. I love doing this, absolutely love it. Well. There's something a little bit extra for you there, folks. But you don't tend to find them at this time of year that much. Yeah. Ooh. Little male spider crab. You've been in the wars, mate. I'll get you back log lodged under your... Uh... There we go. Don't worry, he's perfectly fine there, folks. He's not been spiked through, as you can see. It's just resting on it. There you go, put you back down there, mate. But yeah, I don't find them in winter. Very, very rarely have I seen them. And then for some reason, this time, or this year, should I say, they've uh, been pretty prevalent in the cold weather. Whether I've been out exploring estuaries or anything like that. But yeah, little male spider crab. Give it a few months and hopefully the big ones will be back. Right there, guys. I wonder if you can see it back there down in the back of the cave there we have a brown edible crab so it's always surprising just sort of what nooks and crannies they can tuck themselves away in see if i can get him out looks so like he's only got one claw but it's like he's fairly solid you can see all the uh, white squiggly lines that's keel worms so yeah shell should be fairly solid see if we can pull it out see what it is and give you guys a closer show one brown edible crab trying to grab onto me with the back legs there yeah nice male not big enough though, too small, and only one claw, so yeah, he would have gone back anyway. Yeah, we also have a uh, mummy adventurer in the background there. Hopefully not getting too wet in our boots. <laughs> we'll get this guy back into his coal, pop him back in, and he can go. There he is, back and away, away he goes. 
on live and fight another day. Stay safe down there, buddy. Stunning little uh, snake locks and enemy down there. Just love the colorations on them. They are awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. Thought we gave you guys a little show. Oh, there, folks. Just lifting this one up. I wanted to show you, we have a very teeny tiny, right here, little queenie scallop. Teeny tiny little one. I've also got under here, right there is a broad claw porcelain crab. Let's see it moving there. And here, we have a brittle star. Yeah. Little goodies under little rocks. It's always nice to see little different things. And there's also right next to the queen scallop there, a couple more broad claw porcelain crabs. The back there that squirted at me. <laughs> what was it that squirted at you, Mummy Adventurer? That thing there. That thing at the back. Let's take a closer look. That thing at the back is called a queen scallop. Would Mummy Adventurer like to hold the camera a second? Dun dun dun. And then I can put some more light on the situation and point it out for you all. Yeah, we found one just a second ago. Down the back there is a slightly bigger one, hopefully it's illuminated and you guys can see, just at the end of my foraging hook just there. That there is a queen scallop and a little furrow crab buried behind it as well. And then if we move on down to here, just down there, hopefully you can see it all right, there's a sea etchum that Mummy Adventure has also found. Yeah, cool little finds, cool little finds indeed, well done. And there's also another one, you won't be able to see it because it's got some seaweed stuck to the bristles but right down there where my torch is illuminating there is another sea urchin as well yeah awesome awesome little creatures in little places well folks hopefully you can see it down there let's see if we can get it out and give you a closer look just be very careful with it that's a rather large one Let me just switch out hands a second. You go there, hold it with this one. Yeah. Let's see if we can't. I don't know if we'll be able to. No. Alright, let's see if we can get it off without damaging it or hurting it. We get underneath here and probably pull it out. There we go, out it comes. Just gotta be careful and gentle. I'm not even using the, my hook edge. There we go. This here is a rather large, disturbing his meal, unfortunately, a rather large spiny sea star. You can see what they do in there. Literally, they just. Uh, Digest their prey like that, liquefy it, and suck out the insides. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Right, let's get you put back down there. You go and then carry on and enjoy your meal. Yeah. An awesome sea star. Mummy Adventurer has found something flapping, so let's see what happens when we flip that rock. Oh, wow. Look at those squat lobsters. Let me hold the rock with my knee. For the size of those ones. Under the eel, No, that is not an eel. That is called a shore rock then, just oh. there. Oh. Nope. <laughs> it's a very tiny one. And then we've got... Those are olive or common squat lobsters, if Mummy Adventure would do me the honour of picking that one up. Carefully, because there's a squat lobster on the other side. Let's right, lift it up. Wait, it's a bit slippery. Hang on. All right. Ooh. Yeah, there it is. Just there. That is a huge squat lobster. And we've got another small one down there. <clears throat> and this guy here at the back, like that, is a furred crab. Yeah. We've got Loads of goodies. It's and a very there. small queen scallop. And then next to it, that one there, is a broadclaw porcelain crab. So, again, very small queen scallop and a tiny little broadclaw porcelain crab. Yeah, loads What's, of little goodies. Yeah, this, this is a nice one. Hello, you. Yeah, and another squat lobster down there. Yeah, little treasure trove of goodies underneath that one. We'll put this rock back. Awesome little find. Yeah. Remember, folks, as always, 
put your rock back the way you found them. The wildlife depends on it as well. The we'll get these creatures moved out of the way and then we'll uh, get this rock put back down as well so we don't damage anything. I thought I'd give a mummy adventure a show. So this female brown edible crab, you can tell it's female by that D in the middle. Males have a longer narrow V, the females have a broader D. What I mean by is this bit here where my thumb is. Oh, please don't spike me. You are very sharp on your claws. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, so this bit here is called the apron. And the females, yeah, she's very spiky. She's recently peeled. Ah, and they're very, very, very sharp. <laughs> Do you mind unhooking the uh, back claw from my skin yes. there, Mummy? So, yeah, they're like little pins when they've recently peeled until they've worn down a little bit. But yeah, she's fairly solid, but she's a little bit soft in places still. But yeah, as you guys know, I don't keep the females. So we'll let this lovely little lady go. I'll just get a few pictures of her. And I'll go put her back in her house. All right there, folks. Well, that was our little home down there. So we'll get her put back in. Off you go, Missy. Right, go back that way. If I give her a little shunt. There she is. Back into her home, all down there. Safe and sound. Happy days. Nice little find. Little hole here. And in the back of it, there is a lobster. Had it out a second ago. And it literally flipped itself right back in. Let's see if we can't find out where it is. And somehow get it out and give you guys a show. I'll have a little bit of a battle with this one. I'll bring him out or her out if I can and I'll give you guys a show in a minute. Hello there folks. Beautiful little Larry. Little female one this is. I'm sure she's probably going to be under. Let's give her oh, back of the ice socket. I'm going to get my tape measure out I'm going to give her a measure a second. It's going to be close, but I think she's just going to be under. We've also got no V-notches, and as you saw on the front, no uh, no eggs, so she's not a buried ham. Yeah, I'll grab my uh, tape measure a second, and I'll give her a measure, but I think she's just going to be out. So, back of the eye socket, back of the carapace, as you can see, this one here is about 80 mil. So yeah, she's too small as well. So we'll get her put back in her home. We'll get this lovely little lady back. Such a stunning specimen. Yeah, absolutely lovely. All right, right, you go, Missy. There she goes. Let's get you pushed back in. Probably a little bit tired from me getting you out. There she goes back into her home and off she is happy days well there folks that is it for today's episode i hope you have thoroughly enjoyed it's been an absolute amazing time to get back out again i can't wait to do it again soon so yeah stay tuned there is plenty more up and coming and as i always say from my adventure to yours stay safe guys have a good day bye for now